hi friends uh, today i'll, I'll uh, just show you a quick video on how to create a personal access token in your azure uh, devops environment so uh, pat we call it as pat it's basically personal access token it is an alternative uh, you know password to authenticate into your ado azure devops account so it's pretty simple i'll keep this video very uh, short and to the point so um, so as you can see this is our ado you have signed into my ado and uh, here there is an option uh, where you can see your user settings so click on that then we go to the pat option so click on new token you give your uh, name token name demo token whatever name you would want it to be okay yes uh, we'll select the name uh, what the token name this is just a uh, you know name for your reference here uh, then you select the organization the or your org name and then you give the you select the expiration so what happens is this token it will expire in uh, after a set of days so that's a security feature so you can select 30 60 90 days or even you can have a custom defined but uh, be careful whatever you have selected here after that amount of date the particular status of this token will become inactive so you can't use it anymore for authentication so here for the demo purpose let me just keep it for 30 days and then you select the scope so uh, using this token okay what is the what is the level of uh, authorization you are giving to this token is what you so either you can give a full access wherein this using the token whoever uses the token in their code they will be able to perform all the uh, operations on this ado or you can give a custom defined like uh, you know um, just uh, it just you know to access the code or maybe just to for the build and the release pipeline or maybe just for the you know packages which we have the feeds so it depends on you know there are others as well scope where it depends on security feature what you're looking for so for the purpose of this demo let me just give it for full access and then create that's all that's that's how you create it and then once you create it uh, uh you just have to copy this because this will as you can see here the warning this will no longer be uh, you'll not be able to access it anymore so you have to copy it and keep it somewhere and then you can access it so that's all you just close it off and this is done as you can see uh, the token name is appearing here now this is about the creation uh, there is no, so once you create it after that uh, so if you come again you know uh, here if you just select it you have these options so edit regenerate revoke so uh, for security purposes revoke is something like it a kind of a delete so it will it will you know um once you don't want to use it for different any purpose basically you want to revoke it you can do that or if you select the edit option you can edit it you want to you know instead of full access you want to maybe give a custom access okay so i just want to give the code act uh, the maybe the work item access and maybe the code uh, yeah, I'll give the full access here. So suppose I want to save this. Yeah, it's done. So now this, as you can see, this just these are the access given to it. Okay, so that is about the edit. Okay, and then if you want to regenerate after, like suppose it's going to expire, you can just regenerate it, and then uh, the token you can use it. That's all. These are the um, options available for us to manage it. It's pretty uh, simple. Okay, uh, so that's about pat one of the there are different use cases for this so instead if you don't want to you know give, to give the user credentials to uh, in the code or somewhere instead you can go with the pat uh, the personal access token that's about pat uh, there are different use cases one of the use cases was in the recent uh, videos which we uh, which we uh, put up in this channel that's about uh, in the function app where we use the personal access token uh, in the function app uh, and we had uh, automated the build pipeline trigger so uh, the function app was able to automatically trigger the build pipeline so that's where i have used the this uh, created a, to uh, a token personal access token for the ado and then used it in my function app code so that's one one video i'll, I'll just put it in the link you can check it out so that's one use case yeah so thanks thanks for listening take care bye